Mariana Laurens with Art and Entertainment, your Kunst in Vermaak met Mariana Laurens. I am once again here in the green room at the Little Theatre. I never know whether I'm right under the stage or behind the stage. It's actually behind the orchestra pit and we underneath the stage. I think I'm correct if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Mr. Cool is nodding. I have Mr. <laughs> Cool with me, also known as Eunice Adams, but we know him better as Mr. Cool. Yeah. Um, Welcome. Sure. What a privilege with a capital P to be in the midst of this legend as a presenter known as Mariana Lawrence. I'm not um, I didn't know her personally before today, but I've been introduced through my mentor, Ricky Moss. Also a legend in the jazz industry. And um, through him, I always saw it that he was he's going to buy him to come be interviewed and he showed me the photos. This is Auntie Mariana, so they for me say, right? Um Prince of Africa. Yeah, on this on ah, that's why I can that's why I can't but that's my lacquer. So I would just like to take this opportunity to thank Mariana to invite our team to come within your midst to be able to express what we are planning to do and what we did in the past. It's going to be quite a mouthful, so you have to put on a seatbelt <laughs> to hear what we can produce and just tell. I would also, I don't know if I should introduce the, the people that's no, the panel. No, it's okay. Or do your, it's okay. I'll it. introduce them because next to you is Ethan. <laughs> and, ach, Kristen, his brother is Ethan. Tristan. Tristan with a T. Yes. <laughs> with a T. Tristan. <laughs> And his brother is Ethan, but his brother is not here. But <laughs> Tristan is Tristan McKay. Yes. And you are here. Why? Tell us. I do all the social media for the company. So that is from YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, TikTok, all of them. I do all of that for our company. I'm also going to be involved with doing all of that for the nomination as well. So when it comes to taking videos and stuff, I'll be the person who's involved in that. And anything you see posted online for our business will also be things that I was involved with. And your company is? GQ Premier Events. And what does GQ Premier Events stand for? I think, I think we can leave that to... <laughs> to no, I haven't case. pronounced that word. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to... Who's going to pronounce it? I'll do that one since okay. they both struggle okay. with that a little Tristan? bit. So it's Kabeja Premier Events. Basically to show that we are a company for the people by the people. Because the biggest thing that we want to do is bring more light to the entertainment industry here in PE especially. As well as drum up more events to get more foot traffic in our lovely city. Because we really don't see much foot traffic anymore. And we have such beautiful tourist hotspots here and everything in the greater Kabeja area. So our events company, besides just doing events here in PE, we would also love to get people from outside PE coming in and drum up some more tourism here for us, which will then in turn create more jobs for people too. Absolutely. Community is yes. all about yes. the community and that's what yeah. I always say. BFM 107.9 <laughs> is a community radio station and we care about each other. Yes, so yes. next to Tristan is his mom and <laughs> her name is Felicia McKay. Yes, and I me. think she sings. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm a, performer. I'm a performer as well. I'm also, you could say, I'm the face of GQ Premier Events. I liaise with everybody from service providers to the talent to any media and things like that. That is my job. Li liaising between myself and everybody else, the, the general public, because Mr. Cool does all our media and marketing aside from social media, and he is busy 24-7 on things like that. So generally, I am the face of GQ Premier Events. Okay, but you also sing. Yes, I do. I do perform as well. Perform and sing. And what is that? What does that entail? I have been in the music industry since I was 17 years old. I'm not going to say how long ago that was. <laughs> <laughs> so figure out, people can figure out the age. They, yeah, they, nobody needs to know that. But <laughs> I've been in the music industry since I was 17 years old. And when we decided on the company as an events company, we wanted to highlight local talent as well. And he said one of the, we, we discussed it. And one of the best ways to do that was to show people that somebody from the company as well as I'm being uplifted by the company too. And so at the few events that we've had in the past few weeks, I have performed at each one of them. Is performing singing? Uh, yes, mainly? singing. Mainly singing. I'm a, a singer by trade. A singer. Yeah. Okay. Now, because I thought so, because I saw you standing behind Leo K on the poster, mm -hmm. and it looked to me as if you, uh, because he's got the mic, 
but it looked to me as if you were partaking in a song. Really. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I was. I, I'm, and I'm, I'm so sorry well. that Leo can't be here. Yes, he but did we give his apologies. Give him another time. You yes. apologized. Yes, and then I have here, right next to me, Mr. Marcellus Valmont. He's the brass oak. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Thank you for the privilege to be here. A spin gold brass. I just had an interview early in the day about the jazz and how it comes in. Why specifically saxophone? So you call it a brass instrument. It's actually a woodwind instrument with a brass body. So it's a confused instrument. Oh, confused. <laughs> yes, yeah. Because the saxophone is supposed to be with a brass, but it also uses a reed to project the sound, to make the sound. Um, so it's been used in woodwind instrument ensembles as well as brass bands. So it goes all over the show. But I have been a performer. <laughs> But I'm privileged to be here because I'm sitting in such a steam company because this lady here is an international artist. So she's no. very, very, she's not pushing herself. No, no, she's an international artist. She must elaborate on that later on. <laughs> no, she I just think came you, she's, I, she's, I, she's I been on world stages. You need to elaborate. She's not going to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the shin of musician, but she's a music part of it and she's a face of it all. I do entertain, I do perform all around PE, the metro, even all of the Eastern Cape as well as the Western Cape. But I love brass. I mean, I love jazz. Yes. Actually. Yes. So I think if you love jazz, you like, you like brass. Brass is mm. And yeah, awesome. I, I just love it because I've been to New Orleans. <gasps> no, you no, 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 that is, that is my jazz. New Orleans. And it's With, true yeah. that on every corner they are playing. There's just these bands, these brass bands. Oh, that is my dream. Every, yeah. Everywhere. And that was before the destruction yeah. of the Hurricane yes, Katrina, yes. Yeah, yeah, it was before that that I was mm. there in 1984. Wow, yeah. that's a long time ago. Mm. But yes, so let's go back to Felicia, who's not blowing her own bugle. Oh, <laughs> yeah, please tell me about Spain. Okay, this was a few years ago. I was living in Cape Town at the time and I started working for a production company called Showbiz Entertainment. They source talent from South Africa, but mostly Cape Town. And we worked for a company called Romantic Corporate based out of Spain. We were basically the entertainment at four and five star hotels. And we had some festivals that we performed at as well. We did tribute shows. The first time I went away, we did a tribute to Barry White and Donna Summer. And the second time, that was on the mainland Spain. The first year, I traveled from Malaga to Benidorm to Mallorca. Oh. That I spent a month in Germany before coming back home. Oh. I was in Hamburg, Germany that first year. The second year, we were on the Canary Islands. With the, there, we were doing a tribute to the Supremes. We worked between two islands, Tenerife and La Palma. I was there for nine months and I performed at various hotels and festivals and stuff like that. It was an amazing, awe-inspiring experience. And you are something. related to? We get to that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was an absolutely amazing experience to see something of the world and see other people as well. So I did it for plus minus two years before I came back home. And I haven't been over since. And you related to? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know the song, I Love You Daddy, that Ricardo sings? There's another boy that sings with him, Marlon. Marlon Roach is my oldest brother. Oh, <laughs> isn't that amazing? And his father's there soon. Is that the song yeah. they were talking about? I Love You Daddy. I Love You Daddy. Yes, that one. And so you it's Ricardo and Friends. Okay, yes. yes. Now, yes. the Friends part was Marlon and a boy from Helenvale. His name is Peter. The three of them were Ricardo and Friends. Mm. Now, I'm not sure if it's the same song because I don't know if you know about the Daddy Princess Ball that's going to be happening. It's going to be only for dads mm. and their princesses. Their oh, my daughters. goodness. We're also going to do so only for dads it's and sons. Yeah, father and father and father and father. Andrea. And it's because Father's Day is yeah. on the 18th. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On the 18th. This is on the 24th. What they do is they have this ball and also the one of the I Love mm. You Daddy songs, but I don't know if it's that mm. one is sung mm. and they are actually doing this now every year. So mm. it's oh, quite that's so amazing. Nice. But what I want to know is you are related to these big names there, <laughs> Kristen, <laughs> but you've also got to somehow keep it together and get it on form and, and make it look good. 
that is part of what I do. I will film videos and stuff. And I don't do editing myself because I have very little experience with that. But I do have a colleague that helps me with editing. And then I'll make it look good to go on the internet. Unfortunately, singing for me is like listening to frogs croaking outside. Oh, yeah. I'll shatter glass <laughs> if I start trying to carry a tune. So it's best that I don't sing. Your no, but without you, we can't hear these songs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you see. Yeah. So that's just how I very, make sure to stay important. there. Yeah. You'll never see me in front of the camera, but yeah. behind the camera camera the one taking the but videos and things like that. But you guys must look after him because he makes you look good and he makes you sound good and yeah. he's learning to do it even better mm. yes, from yes. his colleagues. Now Eunice, now tell us about Eunice because obviously you almost becoming like a grandpa here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a grandpa. Where did it yeah. begin? It began in 1971 because Ricardo was nine years old at that time. I think I was 14 years old when I sang my first song on stage in Mitchell's Play, the place called In on the Town. Ricardo was still, I mean, he wasn't famous yet. And then El Eto came in there, brought him there, and then we sang. I remember I sang a song. And that was my very first gig that I got paid. You got paid? I got paid for that song. And with you my, were still with my a group kid? Band. Yeah. And I was still a kid, yeah. <laughs> But we were, we were a band called Straff and Blue. We were even 11 piece band. And each band played an instrument, each band could sing. So imagine all 11 people is rigged up with sound. I was a percussionist and sang. So my percussion is rigged up and 11 mics. When we went to clubs, people thought, oh, you're an American band because they didn't have enough equipment to set us up. In the interim, I did a lot of writing and then I rented myself in the 80s. And ever since I'm a similar resident artist, I've got over 365 songs. 365 days in a year. 365 mm-hmm. songs. Yes, song that has per per oh. never been released yet. My word. I've got people like our dear friend that passed away, Double XP, who committed suicide because of the music industry. That is another story on his oh, own. Oh, that's a sad story. You remember Double XP? He, every time for me, he wanted me to do a song with him and one of my songs. What is the other girl's name that one, one of our inverted commas colored guys with a blonde hair, singer that won the, the idols? Bianca. That I'm, Bianca, my friend. Yeah. Yes. Oh, she should have won. Yes, now she, Bianca. She was runner up, but she should have won. Every time tell him, Mr. Cool, I want to do one of your songs, I want to do one of your songs. Never been released. So I've, I've, in the near future, it will be released before I pass on. Please, I have to, yes. these two or three songs. We we'll all have to work hard to make it happen. Make it happen. When I moved from Cape Town to PE, I couldn't find any work because my CV was too thick. People told me, no, I can't afford it. I want me. one page to look through. My you wife's cousin told me, listen, why don't you do a play? And from that play, it sparked the very first audition that we had was at the Governor Stadium next to the library, opposite Destice. There was 20 people the first weekend. So the following weekend, another article in the newspaper, there was 40 people. Within two years, man alone had over 250 students. That's a lot. Ranging from Quanet Boosley, Motherwell, Utena. My best came from Shoda yes, and Acadia. Yes, yes. You understand? And there's a lot of success stories that came from me. Don't even know the name Donna Africa. Yes, very well. I know Donna. No, Donna Africa, Africa came from my school. I to her on Facebook today. Because yes, of Donna Africa came from my school. She's so sad. <laughs> she, yes. She, she expressed her sadness about Tina Turner. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Because she's... Saying a lot of her songs. She sings yeah. those yeah. covers. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Tina yes. Turner was one of my best students. Yes. She's one of my success, success yes. stories. Yeah, Donna. Reiner, Donna. Reiner Real. Yeah. He's a big singer producer now. Yes. He's come from my school. Ricardo Bogner, right? Yeah. So he came from my school. There's a lot of success stories. Yes. But that school was a music, drama, and dance school. That's how I met him. Okay. Now this guy here is also a legend. Now if you go and watch cricket, mm-hmm. those brass bands that plays mm-hmm. during the intervals. Yes, yes. That's the founder member of that brass band. He's sitting here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you're going to watch it 20, 23. Uh, 2020, uh, what's Four. it? Cricket 20? Yeah. The T20. The T20. Yeah. T20. And, uh, maybe the, the cricket series. And they're playing here, but, and, but us. But us. This band is there. They are the one that's playing there. Wonderful. That so is the legend that's there. We can do another interview. <laughs> exactly. Another but because, that, that is still on its own. Because <laughs> I want to say that about five minutes ago, my techie told me that we've got five minutes left. So we oh, have okay. to wind it up. So why okay. I said you must all come it was just because <laughs> I saw the amazing stuff that you did for the old people oh, and you, you called yeah. it with a difference. Yes. And certainly it must have been with oh, a difference. Yeah. Um, I was so impressed that I saw that poster and I Thank just thought, so I, community, I, old people, we must look after them. And it was just amazing and I really admire it when people do things either for free or for donations or something like that. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to squeeze it in a minute. 
So tell us quickly right what's on. happening. GQA Premier Events is a recently established company with over 60 years of experience altogether. So we wanted to do a Mother's Day thing for two selective old age homes. But that specific weekend we couldn't do it because it was raining. raining, raining. And we didn't want the people to come out of their, uh, of their rooms to come to the foyer mm. to sit two, three hours to watch entertainment. So a very good friend of mine, which you should also interview, is um, the director of Saruk Jeff, the director of CCPM. CCPM, which is the Concerned Citizens of PE Metro. They feed people every day. So I contacted him and I said to Farouk, listen, we want to own one, two, three, organize the bus. You organized the venue for you us because the they wanted a sit-down meal for the old and people. And you organized the food for the day. Yes. Mm. And we organized the entertainment. And we came in and organized okay. the entertainment. Yeah. One, two, three. On the Naked group, I asked people to respond so to come and perform there. You know who's the person who responded? Mr. Valman. Mr. Valman. Yes. He came and responded and he came to perform there. The old people in the sex oh, of the night. I know. Yeah. 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 Just the other night, yeah. I saw him at the fashion show yeah. with Eunice yeah. Adams. I mean, <laughs> on yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. I said, really? Yeah, we were chatting with why the show was on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, Marcellus Wellman, this is Eunice Adams. They, they are <laughs> yeah. all so talented and amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually overwhelming. Throwing, <laughs> overwhelming, throwing them all in the same bag. They're making us blush. But, so <laughs> are you, anything on the cards, then you're going to let us now? Right now, we are involved with the Nama Royal House as their in-house media as well as event planning. But GQ on their own have three events coming up as well. And in between, we would like to do more events of the nature that we did for the older people. We have actually been speaking to Farid Jafta, as uh, Eunice explained, where we want to look into doing more sources of entertainment for them, getting them out because most of them at the old age home, a lot of them don't have family that comes to see them. You understand? So more ways to get them out and entertain them and things like that. Yeah. But those are de- that's definitely in the cards. Yeah, I think that's the one in the pipeline, Marcellus, is we're going to take them to the beach one day. Yeah, in the summer. All day. And Let then we know them. because then we do the interviews for each event yes. Yes. with the people who are going to perform. And of course, if you put me in touch with Farik. Farouk, 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 I can send you a, I will send you this number. oh, you're going to send the contact details, send the okay. details, but also for those out there who have got a heart for old people and for people yeah. who's yeah, just yeah. in our community is what, Marcellus, there's a children's home that side, but this is a children's home, yes. haven, it's a haven, it's an AIDS haven, sitting yeah. right there, so we want to do something as well, yeah, so whatever you're going to do, our time is up, I was now really, really safe, Thank you so You're much so for coming. Welcome. I just want to quickly ask somebody to quickly say, Mr. Eunice Adams, he was just, just selected or elected or whatever they they call it as. Just say it quickly. He was elected as the National Commissioner of Communications and Digital Technologies for the Nama Royal House of Kheber. Yes. I the Nama yes. Royal the Thank you so much, You're all welcome. of you. We've got no time now for yeah. any last word, but next time, next time, next watch time. this space. Be blessed as you go. And it's time for me, Mariana Lawrence, Kunz en Vermaak, Mariana Lawrence, wat nou moet groet, I must say, Arivari! Arivari!